Hi friends, my name is Fotini Fokitis and I'm the Kids Park Coordinator at the Ontario Science Center. And one of the questions I get asked most about at the Science Center is, well, what do you put in your bubble solution that makes the bubbles last as long as they do? We have one secret ingredient. Do you wanna know what it is? Come closer, a little bit closer. It's glycerin. Now before, before you hit stop, because this is another experiment at home that you can't replicate at home, I'm gonna show you, forget about glycerin. You probably have stuff at home that you can use that replicates our exact recipe. And that is corn syrup or honey. And how does that make bubbles last longer? Well, I want you to picture a bubble, a bubble sandwich. A bubble consists of three layers. Our outer layer is soap and our innermost layer is soap. And that part in between here is water. And when that water evaporates, your bubbles pop. But by adding things like glycerin, corn syrup, or honey, it slows down this process, making your bubbles last a little bit longer, which means you can blow bigger bubbles. Really excited. The weather's really nice outside. I need to get the kids outside. But I only have these bubble wands. Before you go start shopping online or running to your stores to go find the right bubble wands, I am telling you, you have stuff at home that you can use. Does anyone know what this is? How about this? Yarn with two straws. So I'll show you how that works out in a bit. But one of my most favorite, something that made my kids play outside for a couple of hours, a bottle and a sock. Wanna see some of our bubble wands that we found around the house? Watch this. Show us what you've got. Okay. You're using yarn and straw. <gasps> oh, that was so big. Oh, that is so big. Keep oh going. Jax, what you've got? Let's see. Oh, keep going, Jax. Now, bubbles rely on surface tension. And surface tension is that force, that force that holds the molecules of a liquid together. So when we have plain water, and you've probably blown bubbles through a straw in your water cup, too much surface tension, which means the bubbles won't really form. But when you add soap, that lowers the surface tension, which means it allows for the bubbles to form. Let's see what you've got, Zoe. Oh, Zoe, you got bubbles that are stuck together. All right, so remember I showed you guys that sock and bottle? Jax, show us what you've got in there. Look at those millions and millions and millions of bubbles. Keep going, Jax. That is the biggest bubble caterpillar I have seen. Happy experimenting. Please let us know in the comments if you've used other materials around your house to blow some really big bubbles. Have fun. Bye.